Good morning. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming out here. Um, really appreciate you coming to see us. So, as I as I walk up here this morning, um, what's the first thing that you guys notice about me? Sure. <laughs> well, for you shallow people, it's probably my good looks. <laughs> so, but by a show of hands, um, how many people in this room have a disability? How many people in this room have a family member who has a disability? And how many people in this room have a friend with a disability? So, thank you. A common definition of ability is the quality of being able to accomplish something, normally physical or mental. So when you say disability and put a dis, does that mean I or your family or friend don't have the ability to do something? I might not be able to get there as fast as you, but I'll get there. This is what ILiveWithDisability.com is out to accomplish. It's a place for those of us who refuse to allow a disability to become a defect, a disadvantage, or a defeat. And this is how we are using Buddy Press to change the world. These words, disability, handicap, cripple, midget, these are just words. A natural function of global culture and language. We are here to create a community for people most affected by these words and to make them realize that's all they are, just words. They only exist in language. And they have nothing to do with ability. So let's try this again. How many people in this room have a disability? How many people have a family member with a disability? How many of you have a friend with a disability? So now as you can see, this presentation is for everybody. So here's a little video um, why we decided to, to do this. Nobody raised their hand again. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen some of the website, but we're just going to show you some of our videos, our first kind of short film that we're starting to, you know, break apart for different purposes. I was born in 1985 with cerebral palsy. When I was younger, I was not around other people with disabilities, and in my mind did not have the ability to connect with people with similar differences. I'm creating this website with some amazing people to connect people with disabilities and their loved ones around the world. The goal of this project is to empower leadership and make people feel like they are not alone. My name is Scott Sussman, and I am beautiful, not broken. Welcome to I Live with a Disability.com. So a little bit more about me. Um, I'm from born and raised Princeton, New Jersey. Went to University of Miami, where I majored in marketing and sports administration. <coughs> and now I am back at the high school that I that I taught at um, that I that I went to, and I coach rowing, I work in the resident life office, and I, and I teach math. So oh, wow. even on my day job, I like to make a difference. So, um, but I want to introduce Ron. Um, like, you, like the guy said downstairs, I'm just the face in front of us. Ron does everything behind, behind the scenes, and he's unbelievable. Um, but, but I met Ron a year ago at a workshop in Philly. Um, and when I came up with the idea to create a social networking website for people with disabilities, um, I looked at a lot of different avenues. I looked at using Ning.com, I looked at um, just doing a message board, just a standard message board, and even looked at creating a website from scratch. Um, and for me, as a person who is you know, creating a website disabled, um, I asked many people their thoughts and then asked Ron, um, who, I, who I knew had done some logos and stuff to help out. And he sent me a message back on Facebook saying, of course, Scotty, you have my full support. I'm starting a new nonprofit this year as well. Perhaps, as well, perhaps we can talk about. Ron's English is not great. <laughs> <laughs> um, you may have to come to, to Reading. And, and like Chrissy and I cook you a good dinner. You have our cell phone, right? This is the actual Facebook message. We this is, up he sent this back to me on my Facebook wall. And I went to Reading. I had a cell phone. And 
Welcome, Ron. I think it was about a year ago. We just tracked this down the other day. Just the spur of the moment, wow, this is where it all started, and it happened of all, of all places on Facebook. Right? Um, so who am I? My name is Ron Burkum. Um, first and foremost, what is not on here is uh, I'm a proud father of three, oh, and, uh, cool. and I'm, I'm very, very much blessed to be able to work from home with my kids upstairs. Uh, but how wife. old are you? You must be like 19. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my, 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 respo my response to that is, I just shaved, <laughs> and, uh, and I'm 30. Um, <laughs> I had my first baby in college, in my, my freshman year, so that's why. I, yeah, that explains. I know, it's like you um, <laughs> So I've lived all over the place. Um, I have a biography coming up pretty soon. I won't get too much into, you know, my life story, but I kind of have the... Um, you know the hard luck story. I, I kind of had a tough childhood, and uh, I moved up to upstate New York. I don't know about 15 years ago. After dropping out of a couple high schools, started in a really small community, and it made, and it made a really big difference. And it was just a couple years I got into art and design, and went to uh, RIT, Rochester Institute of Technology in New York for graphic design, imaging arts and science program. Like I said, I'm lucky enough now to work from home, and I'm blessed with some big corporate clients. I've held a couple state contracts. I'm pretty active in the music industry. I have about, I don't know, maybe about 20-some odd uh, Grammy Award winners in my music portfolio, specifically like poster design, um, a couple Rock and Roll Hall of Famers, Greg Allman, you know, Leon Russell, Johnny Winter, old school kind of jazz and blues guys. I don't know if anybody... Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm estranged from my family, but long story short, I lived, my, my mother had an accident when I was a teenager, um, became disabled. There's some other things involved around that, but long story short, I moved out on my own. I worked two jobs. Um, a small community at Lake Classic really good job, and that's how I got to college. And uh, earlier in my, probably grade school, elementary school, um, I did summer school, second, third, fourth, fifth grade. Um, I was in some of the slow learning classes in middle school, which I hadn't remembered for a long time until recently, probably just to one slide. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But, uh, yeah, so that's me in a nutshell. Um, we've been showing you some videos, and you guys really got to know, you know how much fun we've had with just this one show. I, I don't do film, I don't do video. He came over one day, I got a new camera. And that's where you see some of the videos we're showing you now, you see on the website. And uh, we just kind of want to show you how much much fun we've had with those and like we're having today so um, if you bear with us here for a couple more minutes this is the website you'll ones. see this is the video you'll see when you sign on to the website um, this is the, the home page the, video, the home page video. Yeah. then bloopers afterwards the best <coughs> has anybody been to the website and seen it by chance no. perfect <laughs> awesome <laughs> Disability.com. My name is Scott Sussman. Disability.com for me. I live with a disability. Say it five times. I live with a disability. I live so with a disability. My disability is public speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Recording? We're getting, we're getting good. Yeah. Practice makes perfect. That's right. right. I got this. Okay. I got this. One, two. I Live with a Disability.com is the first social networking website, Facebook, MySpace, and Twitter, for people with disabilities and their loved ones. You can join groups or create your own groups. You can also network with other members who have created their own projects as well. Participate in the conversations of your choice and connect with people who have been there and done that in something that you are interested in. Thank you for spending this time with me. Now join and tell your friends. And let's grow this community together. Join the conversation and watch your world expand. My name is Scott Sussman and I live with a disability.
I'm beautiful, not broken. Hi, I'm Scott Sussman, and I have cerebral palsy. And I also have a disability in public speaking. Check out the bloopers of us trying to film this, this videos. You'll see. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Okay. Should I take the script away? Nope. <laughs> That'd be a blooper. I love this. I'm going to put this stuff right in there. I love the script. <laughs> Isn't it? Okay, we're recording. Oh, good. I'm playing. Ready? <laughs> One, two. So, a little of this is going to be repetitive. We have a second. Starting the segment, like I said, the first film, and I think different things because we even have a lot of raw footage. This next one is a little bit repetitive stuff, but it's a strict group of real, you know, so you can see some of the same things, but it's specifically um, segmented for this purpose. So, and again, okay. Okay. Should I take the script away? Nope. <laughs> That'd be a blooper. I love this. I'm going to put this stuff right in there. I love the script. <laughs> Isn't it? Okay, we're recording. Oh, good. I'm playing. Ready? <laughs> One, two. Ability in public speaking. Check out the bloopers of us trying to film this, what, this videos. You'll see. Thanks. <laughs> hey, public speaking one. Do you give me a public speaking yeah, one? Yeah, one, two, three, go. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm Scott Welcome to Island with a Disability. My disability is public speaking. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Scott Sussman. Welcome to ILiveWithDisability.com. Recording? Okay. We're getting good. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. That's right. right. I got this. Okay. I got this. Alright. I'm Scott Sussman. You want to do some vocal exercises for me? Hi, Scott Sussman. That's up there. Okay. On the count of three, we're going to start recording. Pause for three, four, five, ten more seconds. Take a deep breath. I can cut it out. And just do it. Okay? After you. Let's, say we'll count, let's count to three together. Okay? Right. And take another pause. Collect yourself. And move. Awesome. Now, this is Welcome to with Disability. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, you're going to start recording. And then I wait ten seconds. We're recording now. Okay? Oh, we are. We're going to go one, two, three. There's no red light. Recording. One, two, three. Hi. Welcome to I Live with, with a Disability .com. My name is Scott Sussman. Okay. Zoom the deck out. Now. That's cool. Ready? It's hard to speak. Don't worry about it, man. I'm not even here, okay? Plus, I love you. Ready? I love you. Right. One, two, three. Hi. Welcome to I Live with a Disability.com. My name is Scott Sussman. One more. Okay? Without Say I live with a disability.com for me. I live with a disability. Say it five times. I live with a disability. It's so hard to say. Okay. I live with a disability.com. I live with a disability.com. <laughs> I live with a disability.com. <laughs> I live with a disability. Dot com. Okay. This is YouTube blooper reels all day long, bro. You, you don't even know. You better get I'm sorry, bro. I'm, I'm making you famous. <laughs> okay. Right. I live with a disability. Dot com. I live with a disability. Dot com. Oh, you're good. Oh, yeah. I live with a disability. Dot com. I live with a disability. Dot com. I live with a disability. Dot com. Okay. Bring it on. Bring it on. One. Two. Should I take the script away? Nope. <laughs> That'd be a blooper. I love this. I'm going to put this stuff right in there. I love this. So again, guys, sorry, I know some of that is a little long, it's a little repetitive, but uh, we have fun with I, I don't even care, it's so much fun. Um, where are we at now? Um, that's right. So, you know, this is, this project isn't a money thing, it's kind of, it's obviously really close to our heart, 
you know, being his idea and, and kind of where it's coming, maybe six months. Monday, actually, is our official um, launch day. You know, the story goes, we've had five, six months of beta development and such, and, and Monday's kind of the big day. So, um, I sent out a rather mushy email to what base we do have in, in my personal list and, and, and my partners and people who are involved with. I just kind of want to, if you guys bear with me, I'll read it to you real quickly. And you know, under the context of, of trying to you know express how how really monumental and big, in a small way, this project is for us, um, we're going to go through some testimonials in a second. And the feedback we're getting, and uh, the private messages we're getting from some people we're involved with, it's, it's kind of much more than a website. There's you know relationships being established, and people are being changed. Um, it's really hard to put into words, but um, so if you just bear with me, I'll read I'll read part of this. And this, again, this went out to our list, our members, and our partners. I keep saying this, but thank you. It's been a couple crazy months. We have done nothing less than prepare a foundation for massive growth with the beta development of ILiveWithADisability.com. This site is like no others. We represent power, leadership, compassion, and love. These are not just words and language, as you can see from the activity of our members and our core team. <coughs> Some things are happening that we can't even explain nor put into words. It's not about the numbers of the number of members we have, but how powerful this group of leaders are, but then most importantly, how each of you are affecting your loved ones in the world at large, actively, passively, or not at all right now in this moment of time. This project is always meant to be selfless, faceless, behind the scenes, most terribly effective. It's quickly becoming so, made possible by all of us, even the silent members who just observe. And in quotes, you know who you are. We are using a website to communicate as a catalyst. We are really building a movement that is working. We are helping more people than you can ever imagine in a way that has never been done before, as we are doing it for now, in which nobody can replicate. Our organization will always be in a state of cultural evolution. The website will always be improving and changing. We are at the end of something larger than Scotty and I knew. And we'll outlive us all if we do it right. Um, so this statement is using Buddy Press to change the world, and Scotty's just going to read a couple, of, a couple statements, a couple sentences from a lot of the testimonials and feedback we're getting and we have gotten over the last five or six months. It's been pretty unbelievable, um, and we're so humbled by the words that people have been sending to us, and personal messages, um, putting it on, on the wall, um, in the activity. It's just really been truly amazing. And so, yeah, we decided that to sh to share with you um, really how Buddy Press and I with Disability is making a difference. Um, so I'll just read a couple. Hello Scott, I want to thank you for making such a beautiful website and to let you know that you aren't alone. I admire you for being, so, being brave enough to step in front of a camera and say that you have cerebral palsy. I have cerebral palsy too. Hi Scott. Thanks for setting up this site. It's great to know that there are people with disabilities and that we have not let our physical conditions limit us. Where are you from? What inspired you to start this website? I have a great friend with cerebral palsy. He's now a physician assistant, and he has given me the courage to complete my pharmacy degree this past May. I look forward to meet more people on this website and hear about their exciting stories and how they have overcome adversity. Hi, Scott. Thank you so much for this type of place. I can come to and meet new friends and share and learn. You are very handsome, I must say. You are beautiful inside and out. That's a good little joke. It's kind of a running theme. Yeah, it's a little bit much. <laughs> um, thank you for creating this site. You turned an idea into a tangible website that gives people, including myself, a sense of place. A sense of place is a difficult thing to come by in this complex world, especially when you have a disability. I admire your leadership and innovation. I think my family is more excited for me than I am. They have seen such a change in me as I feel like I have another purpose besides just living. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. And I'm happy to have found your group because at this time I'm not feeling very positive. Everything is just too much work for me. However, you're right about the social networking craze. It has been a godsend to me since I suffered from a debilitating tremor disease which has recently severely affected my social life and left me home alone sitting in a recliner about 90% of my waking hours. So as you can see, it's just been truly humbling um, of what's been happening. Um, and 
we have somebody sent us a, a video testimonial that um, she asked that we show you, here. Do you want to mention a little bit about, we're going to show you a minute <coughs> a video in just a second, another video. Um, about a girl who we actually had a Tasmania, we just recently last week took her on in, in, a, in a big way to help us with the project. We have what we call the Ilwad Army we're building, and you know it's a group of volunteers uh, that are helping us contribute and write for, um, um, we're actually trying to build long-term a disability news organization, so we're trying, trying to put together a volunteer team of journalists uh, so we can be a big voice out there in the community. And uh, we just put a call, a call out, you know, I, I mean, I live with the philosophy, you're never going to get anything unless you ask for it, unless you put yourself out there and you do something. So a couple weeks ago, we formulated this concept about the Bellwater Army, and we just asked for help. We put some core, core team positions, you, you can see it on the website, we're asking, you know, for journalists and for WordPress software <coughs> engineers, <coughs> excuse me, if there's any in the room. Um, and, and, and a couple other things. So we've had, we've actually, we have a team of about eight now. And some of them are just now coming on, on board and, 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 and getting used to the dynamic and, and working with us and such. And uh, th this girl, her name is Courtney from Tasmania, has just helped us in such a big way um, because we are active beyond just this website and other disability forums and Facebook groups and the whole nine, right? Um, so we named her our social media director a couple weeks ago. And actually one of the testimonials I think you just read a moment ago was from her. And I think just yesterday she sent us an email from, from her father. And what, what did her father yeah, say? Yeah, her, her dad um, was, she lives in Tasmania, which is a little island book, below Australia. She sent me an email and just said, my, my dad just got home from the States on business, and he wants to thank you because he came home to a different daughter. And it's just unbelievable. I mean, who would have thought that this idea would really, these words that we put on this website, are really taking form and in such a bigger role than we even expected. And this, I mean, whatever just happened to this, to this girl is makes everything worthwhile. All the work, everything that we've done makes it worthwhile. So. so she was nice enough to record a video for us and for you guys knowing that we were going to be here this weekend. She wanted to just say hello and in the context of everything that's going on. Because again, our, our official launch is Monday. And, uh, oh, the story of work camp, we didn't even mention that, but Scotty and I literally used Buddy Press out of the box. Three days later, I got an email from Anthony and Automatic um, and said, hey, we think, you know, you guys have a good message. We've come to work camp. So now it's been like five, six months. We've been waiting for this weekend. We launched Monday. So I just wanted to make sure that was in context. And uh, this is Courtney. <laughs> My name is Courtney, and I'm the social media director for AliWithTheDisability.com.
for the most part, Courtney has uh, been bedridden for two years after being, you know, but she worked in uh, law offices, you know, as a secretary and stuff like that. And, you know, things happen, things happen to people in life. They really have a new body to deal with, to kind of come into and, 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 and learn how to, I don't know, live a different way. You know, it's, it's, it's really tough. So we're, we're really, really blessed. Um, big time. In a lot of different ways. This is just, again, a couple testimonies, one case. We have another dozen of those that, that just over the last three or four weeks um, have come through. It's very, very humbling. So, um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, we have a QA and a oh. <laughs> right now. Okay. And, and um, you know, it's, it's, and I kind of title it Buddy Press Out of the Box. And the context of that is, uh, you know, I'm a print media graphic designer. Uh, I've learned web stuff. You know, I've been, I've been in the game since 99. Um, so, you know, so I, I do CSS and I do HTML and I move some things around to PHP and uh, I try to stay away from databases. Um, so, the, the, so, you know, this segment is called Out of the Box. It's our Q&A session and the story about how we're using it is um, literally we just installed BuddyPress out of the box. We downloaded uh, the, the theme we're using. If anybody is familiar with BuddyPress, it's called BP Columns it's on the BuddyPress site. Um, so, so the big thing, you know, the technology is great, you know, and for the love of WordPress and BuddyPress, you know, thank God that we have, we have WordPress, you know, I'm, I'm a little biased, I'm sure most of us probably are if you're into it, but uh, um, we pretty much just used it verbatim out of the box with some small customization and tweaks and a series of plugins that, that add interactivity in the whole nine. And I think the biggest thing for us behind this is, you know, I'm a corporate identity, I'm a brand guy, so obviously we have some elbow bricks behind that. Um, and message. So, you know, buddy press, message, and a little bit of branding, and here we are today. Can you actually speak a little more about that specifically? How, how you, you know, you, you downloaded WordPress, uh -huh. you installed it, you created well, an instance of a site, then you went and you downloaded what uh, Buddy Press, yep. and you installed that on your server. Absolutely. And then, how did you does does Buddy Press work as a plugin inside WordPress? It is a plugin. You activate it. Uh, Buddy Press is a plugin. Yes. So it goes into your plugin folder. Now, here's my disclaimer. Um, okay. The new version of Buddy Press just came out like a week ago, mm -hmm. something like that, right after three three zero or three one or WordPress, excuse me. Um, and I have not upgraded it, and I'm waiting till this week in case I just take the whole site down. I wouldn't make it for a very good presentation today. Um, so, but as of as of what I can speak to right now, I'm not really sure how how the framework is working with a new version. But it's my working on it is a plugin. You, you we have to use um, we use WordPress multi-user. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Have is does it sort of integrate the same way? Okay, so our our site, Elevated Disability Disability, specifically runs you know on a layer of WordPress. It runs. You know, a layer of Buddy Press. We have, I think, right now active another 12 plugins to add a lot of interactivity to the message boards and, and some email marketing and the whole nine. We also run the WordPress MU over the top of that so people can create their own blogs and the whole nine. So, and another disclaimer is when I did that a couple weeks ago, so our users were able to create their own blogs, I broke the whole site. I had to, I had to hire someone to fix it. Um, but for, long story short, um, this is my second Buddy Press site right before Scotty opened up the presentation saying, hey, Ron, I'm looking at Ning, I'm looking at message boards. And that wasn't good enough for me um, because, you know, I'm kind of a, a new millennium kind of developed multimedia guy. I didn't want to put a message board up or use some other third-party service. I had just got contracted um, through one of my clients to build a community site for him. And that was kind of my playground. And that just had happened two or three weeks before he asked me. So it's like a really natural answer to say, hey, we're going to move in this direction. We're going to use this software for this project. Um, I have had, personally, I had been using Word, WordPress for, I don't know, a couple of years, at least two or three years. And I have the infra infrastructure, so I was able to pop it in and yeah. install it and run with it. If you have MU installed, can you install instances of BuddyPress in each subsite and have it work? Uh, build a community within yeah. each yeah, I, yeah, to create, so. a, you know, MU, yeah, you have, the, the you MU have 20 the, sites. The, the you separate can WordPress installs, I think absolutely be able to run that plugin right over the top of it. Yeah. Um, and even within the MU system, within the BuddyPress, because I used to, and I forget which one it is, excuse me, use the MU system for BuddyPress to transform the whole website. 
Now, even within that framework and that structure of plugins between WordPress and BuddyPress, there's specific BuddyPress plugins for MU um, and such like that. I'm still learning myself. Um, but yeah, I mean, long story short, uh, to answer your question, I had a history with WordPress. Mm -hmm. I got lucky enough a couple weeks before we connected on this to, uh, um, uh, to pull my hair out trying to get it working. So it went pretty smoothly once we got it in place. Is there a place on your website where you list the plugins that you've used uh -huh. and installed? No, but I have a short list here. Okay. Anyway, I mean, there's nothing really special for the most part. Um, Can you talk about what you've used and why you used it? Absolutely, yeah. There's there's a whole series of right now that are inactive um, for further development, right? So let me just pull my list up. I got to give a big plug out to G Press. Has anybody ever ever heard of that? Used that? Um, it's by a company. I think they're called Press Buddies. If you go to the Buddy Press website. They're they're big in the community and the whole night. So we have this concept of you know taking advantage of GPS and member locator you know, kind of features and stuff right now. So the, the best plugin in my eye right now, like long term to get in here, is uh, we have it right now with G-Press. I'm not going to pull up the site, but you guys can see later. Right now, a user can come in and tag their location. You know, first of all, a user will come in and they'll create their profile on our website. But we have a plugin on there. It's called, um, I think it's called like Buddy Press Privacy or something to the fact. So privacy is really important to us. Um, so a user can come in, create their profile, and immediately go in and start showing or hiding pretty much any element within their profile. You know, their address, their name, their location, their gender. We have a couple custom fields set up we want people to tell us about the type of their disability and describe themselves. But long story short, after after the fact, they can go in and totally customize their privacy settings and make things visible, you know, to just themselves, their friends, or nobody at all. So that's probably the, the most important plugin. One of the first ones we put in place was to address privacy concerns within the website. And you know, that one is it's called? Um, I don't have it on my list. Oh, okay. um, I will be more than happy to put the list up if you'd like, or you can contact me and I'd be happy to talk to you. Um, so, so that's the important one. G Press is huge uh, to kind of, you know, walk back around where I was, uh, the privacy settings. Um, someone can go in and tag, like their city. They can say right here. Other members can click, you know, hot links and find other people in different cities the whole night. Now, we're using like a really low level kind of functionality with that plugin. And I've had conversations with Mark and, and Press Buddies, the guys who are developing this. And it is, it is used for WordPress and beyond just BuddyPress. Um, but long term, we want to have like a fully interactive system where one of our members can come in and hit a special page with a form that said, hey, I just went out to Red Lobster in Charleston, and they didn't have a handicap ring. You know? So you know, it's all about community-driven content, first of all, uh, community-driven relationships. So there's all these little layers that we're planning for the future to put in, to putting in. And G-Press, using GPS and locator stuff on personal profiles is a big piece of it for me. So that's why I bring that one up. There's a lot of other um, little ones. You know, Buddy, buddy Press out of the box. Um, should just pull this side up. Is it up? Oops. I never said I knew what I was doing. Anyway, Buddy Press out of the box. You're not seeing some of these features right here within the wall activity because we're not logged in. But if you were logged in, you'd see some other things like like and share, the, you know, the kind of social media vocabulary that, that we've all begun to learn, you know, learn navigation and, and learn kind of behaviors on the internet. Um, we're trying to take advantage of those within the site, what people are used to in the whole night. And our demo, you know, is, you know, not just for the disabled, but friends and family and social networks in the whole night. And it's kind of a, a younger demo for the most part. So. You know, a, a, a lot of the feedback that I get is, you know, this isn't designed for quote unquote handicapped people. Um, we're not trying to use those words. The text is big enough to find. Like, there's a lot of changes and improvements we're going to make in the future for the most part. And my response to that is, yeah, well, you know, it's not a site just for the visually impaired. It's not a site just for, you know, disabled people. It's for their friends and family. So for me, in, in my mind's eye right now, I'm trying to find that comfortable medium with a lot of painfully aware things that are going to happen long term. So again, sorry, I'm like off topic, but back to the plugins. 
we're using a couple things that don't come out of the box with Buddy Press. And again, with my disclaimer that I'm not exactly sure what they did with the latest update, they might have totally pulled in a bunch of these plugins, which, which that's kind of how the, the dynamic happens with that small team of five people, I think. Um, to the simplest plugin, like a light plugin. And again, I don't know if you logged did you log in? Well, don't worry about it. But anyway, if you were logged in, you could see like the like button like up next to that. That's one of the plugins. We're using another one, Scotty, can you scroll down? We're using another plugin called uh, <coughs> Desert Maps and Who's Online. You like that one? It's just unbelievable to see how, how global this has become in six months. And, um, and again, this is one that doesn't come in, doesn't come in the box. Oh, yeah. You just get the entire world. Yeah, and if you notice up at the top, you know, the variable's right there. Time is, is 30 days. You can change that down to, you know, weeks and months and the whole night. Um, the, another big thing we're using, you notice the, the Facebook login underneath uh, the Facebook button underneath our login form. That is uh, WP Facebook Auto Connect. I'm pretty sure that's not specific to BuddyPress, and that is probably the, the one that's highest ranked and is probably most standard out there in WordPress. Don't quote me on that. Um, probably something to be said about it. Um, another big one, uh, BuddyPress Sidebar is another important plugin that I'm using because out of the box, um, if you guys, you guys know WordPress, you have you know widgets and sidebars and you place things depending on your, your column grid and the whole nine. Um, sometimes it can be restrictive. If you don't want to load a widget into one sidebar and have it be global across every page. So one quick fix to that, other than getting down to the, the nitty gritty with hard coding and such, is uh, another plugin called BuddyPress Sidebar. And I think it's still early. I'm hoping to see more out of it long term. But that does allow us to kind of place specific areas of content in the sidebars in the widgetized area for where you are at the site. Um, really important one. And again, there's a lot of these that we're using. There's a lot that we're going to be using. So I'm just kind of mentioning um, the most important ones when it comes to you know audience, reten uh, audience retention and, and our loyalty and the whole nine. There's a new one that I just put in place last week that is called uh, BuddyPress Group Email Subscriptions. And I mention this again because this doesn't come with BuddyPress, but if you, if, if, if you guys notice, there, there's, or if you've ever seen like BuddyPress sites, there's groups, you know, there's memberships, there's activity, and there's groups, which is a major, major part of the framework. And within the groups, there's no way out of the box there's a lot of notifications and emails, just like Facebook that comes with BuddyPress. So if you go and you, you create a group within a BuddyPress site on our site or anywhere, or you join someone else's group, you don't really get email notifications. So the, the, this, this plugin that I'm mentioning, mentioning, BuddyPress group email subscription, has allowed us, and if you were logged in and looking at the groups, there's another little link right under the title that says manage your email subscriptions for these groups. Really, really important. Because again, we're taking, you know, I mean, we have all guns blazing right now between you know marketing efforts, between you know social media sites and, and doing these little little things that we can do within this site as they present themselves to just keep people coming back and, and, and it just make it really, really functional and interactive. So that's an important one. Uh, buddy press like buddy press follow is another little one on the level of that like plugin. So like on on Facebook, you can like a page, fan a page, whatever it is these days. Um, follow, Twitter, mentality. Um, so when we say we're kind of trying to make the most out of, um, you know, the social media vocabulary and language, we do have a little pieces of Twitter and Facebook and MySpace and stuff here and there. Thanks, buddy. Um, invite anyone is another plugin, which is a good one. But great within your profile. You can't see it because we're not logged in here. There's a little tab under your profile that says invites. You pop people's email addresses in. It tracks. It, 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 I mean, it's really amazing some of the technology. It'll tell you who you sent it to, who's responded the whole night, fully integrated, really. Um, tweet stream. This is the important one if you guys see the, uh, the, the tweet buttons. So I have a personal profile at Robert Kim on this site. When I log in, I can see just like Twitter, there's a big box right here. It's your status update. It says, tell us what you're doing. Right below that, there's a little tick, tick, ticker box, you know, a little check box. And because of this plugin, it's called tweet stream. If it's the first time and you have it authorized, I can go and authorize my Twitter account. And it'll, 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 it'll syndicate and aggregate on demand, actually. Either you can have it wide open and have it like pump everything back and forth the whole night, 
but uh, you know, it's an integration between your activity feed on this site and your, and your activity feeds and status updates on Twitter and Facebook and such. So another big one we're going to put in place that's, that's uh, not activated right now is called Site Accomplishments for BuddyPress. And it's, uh, we haven't talked about it too much, but it's something I want to do in the, in the long term where you can reward your members for, let's just say, most comments every month. So if I want to, if I want to acknowledge or recognize, which, which we do on this site every once in a while, manually right now, Scotty and I have noticed someone helping someone, and we'll do, say one day, thank you at John Doe for really contributing to the site, and that's big for people. So this, the, the next set of plugins I want to put in will reward people based upon data in the plugins, and that's called site accomplishments. And for example, we could, you know, we could designate someone member of the month for the number of comments they made or something. Yeah. Can you actually explain what buddy press is and why I would want to sure. do it? Sure. I zero experience with it. Um, and to go along with this, I think this will help. Uh -huh. Why do buddy press when we have the baseball? Mm -hmm. Or Ning or whatever. Yeah, like how'd you choose this? Um, well, I, I mentioned it earlier. Well, real, real quick, there's some definitions. I think we have a slide. Yeah. Show that one. It did, but it, you did yeah. show it, but it didn't show. It didn't explain to me the difference between WordPress and BuddyPress. Okay, the difference between when we touched upon it over here, right? You have a WordPress mm -hmm. install in place. Mm -hmm. You activate BuddyPress, and you activate BuddyPress themes over the top to create the social media community. So again, you have a layer of oh, WordPress, and you don't. Yeah. For, okay. And I'll just okay. explain a couple a couple distinctions here. This is our recent news switcher. Right? So we still have a WordPress blog in place. Mm -hmm. and, and these are our feeds from there. Now all of our members can go create their own blogs. They have all different feeds. But we have a, a, a main disability news blog for our site. That's WordPress, right? Okay. So this is where the integration starts. When you put BuddyPress in place, this is where you start to get these features. Groups, okay. Okay. members, there's a whole different registration process, profile. There's a lot, there's uh, anybody heard of like Bingo, I think it's called. It's, a, it's another word, social media. WordPress plugin, if you don't want to go like robust and full blown with BuddyPress, you can take your WordPress site and install a simple plugin like that. That allow people to create profiles and, and have site activity in the whole nine. So long story short, that's it. You know, WordPress goes over the top and you get out of the box WordPress with a couple other key functionalities. And we're using plugins as much as possible to make it interactive. Does that help? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm sorry, did I not answer your question? Why and Facebook? Just why when, when you have a Facebook, why would we want to put a buddy press on it? Well, um, personally, that's not good enough for me. Um, Scotty and I got together a couple of weeks ago, and we were talking about, uh, maybe you want to mention something, but he was in a workshop and, and, and kind of contemplating what he was going to do and going to people saying, you know, I'm going to, oh, I want to use a Ning network and I want to use a private message board or whatever. And I looked at him and I went, not good enough for me, right? You know, number, number two, it's like, you know, if you have a business card right there and you're trying to start a corporation, do you put your Hotmail address on your business card when you're trying to land a $10 million account, you know? So there's some, so there's something to be said, we wanted our own thing, okay? This is fully self-hosted. We have, you know, uh, full control over it. And the best thing about WordPress is it's so dynamic and it's always evolving. So who knows what this site's going to look like in a year? Who knows what we're going to be doing with WordPress in 10 years, right? I don't want to have an answer to Facebook about it. Yeah, the only you know? reason I ask is if I, if I choose to use it, I'm trying to think in terms of my client, people who come to my website, why would they want to join this site versus I'm on Facebook? Privacy? Well, good question. I mean, you can't. For, oh, good question. Number one, there's no correct answer to that because you just can't mess with Facebook. It is what it is, right? I mean, they're, they're really, really powerful. Um, this is really niche based, and you can see from the videos. Like I said, you know, it's one thing about the technology and the whole nine. There's something also to be said about our message and our concept. It's not this activity board. People are getting inspired about three or four sentences that six people are writing in here every day right now with the hundred membership base we have. But it's us seeing these things, and not just Scotty and I, but our core team and our hard users we're starting to discover and develop within this site are, are just, it's bigger than us already. They're really reaching out to each other. So to answer your question, 
Can you do that on Facebook? Absolutely. I mean, I've connected with lots of brothers and high school friends. Yeah, that's really great. We're doing the same thing. But maybe this is just a little more. To, just to kind of add to that, I work for a university, and I would never get a faculty member to buy into taking a class online on Facebook. But I could probably get some buy-in saying, you know what, I can create a space for you mm -hmm. on our uh, WordPress server mm -hmm. where you can communicate with your 40 students privately, post, y you know, and have a conversation. So it really, I think it really it's, would it's depend not, on your audience because yeah. for some things, Facebook might be great. It's, it's not black and white too. We have this glaring kind of realization, like I just said, you can't mess with Facebook, you know. Um, Facebook and Twitter and our integration with other social media sites is just as big a part of this site and the way that we deliver this message and this content as this website is. Like I, I mentioned, you know, we have integration with Twitter. We have integration with our Facebook account. Our Facebook account has twice the number of members we have right here. But it's a pretty good percentage when we're, we're, we're going from here. So it's all kind of really holistic. One more question. Uh -huh. How do you deal with any privacy issues? And, um, you know, if something were to happen, something gets posted that's criminal, what have you? Where are we protected? Is it it's one thing to be okay. Well, Paul, we're, we're, we're talking about quality standards for our message board. If we were a forum right now and we're talking moderation of a public social community, really, really important for us. Um, we do what would be called maybe legacy forum pruning. Um, you know, there's a lot of little system activity things that come in here that says John Doe just likes Scotty's thing. So we have the team we're actively pruning that stuff out. I checks and balances in for spam and spam robots and the whole night. On top of that, there's nothing bigger than the human eyeballs on this thing in our core team. Um, aside from that, the legal structure the whole night, we have terms of service, we have privacy policies in place that could be evolving. It's brand spanking new. Let's hope we don't run into any litigation, but we're hitting the ground running and maybe, you know, we'll discover it doing everything we can right now, but uh, and as far as privacy is concerned, I mentioned that a little bit before. That's why our users have the full ability to go in there and show and hide whatever they want. You know, at that point, even within our, our, our legals and our terms of service, it is their responsibility, whatever they put up there. Is there, is there a moderation? Is there moderation built in with BuddyPress, or is that an addition, that, a, a plugin that you'd have to install? Um, well, would we, like, know, would, would we know about WordPress? Or? Um, you know, the spam commenting in the traditional systems where you flag things like that. Um, this has front-end administration, which is a distinction. It's a little bit different than WordPress, where you might have to go into your, your WordPress admin and manually, you know, can comments or not. Um, when you're logged in as an administrator, there's a whole other layer. And this is, you go back to one of the other questions, the distinction between WordPress and Buddy. There's a whole other front-end layer of administration. So we have people who are designated contributors or administrators on our team. They never go into the, as a super administrator with WP like MU into the back of Buddy Press. But in the front, they see some guy coming in and selling cheap handbags out of Indonesia right here. And they yeah. can go to his profile, click in the bin like Marcus Spam, mm -hmm. right? So to answer that question, there is a whole other layer on the front. It's a little bit, you know, there's a distinction between the word and stuff. Is that it? 50 minutes? Thank you guys so much. Okay. If you have any more questions, you can see us. We'll be here. So thank you very much.